And hello everyone. This is basically um, a video that's made for the developer of ProSim 737, Marty. But I wanted to show you uh, we're in the air at 30,000 feet headed for G, Las Vegas. I wanted to show everybody how great this program is that Marty developed. As you can see, pretty much everything is um, it really stands out, has good graphics, and this right here is the radio altimeter that's set for minimums uh, when approaching McCarran Airport. Shows I'm running with the autopilot on and these indicators up here are pretty self-explanatory. Over here shows that I'm getting hit with a fairly decent crosswind. Oops. Hey, just as I did that, guess who comes on? Las Vegas and it shows that we're 194 miles away from McCarran. Shows a wind degrees of 259 degrees, 25 knots hitting me. The arrow is pointing the way the wind is is um, blowing. So I'm getting hit with kind of a side wind. Uh, ground speed 412 the uh, true airspeed 430 miles an hour. Uh, if you notice this little blip right here is me. I can turn it off and then turn it back on again and it shows you that I'm not tracking perfectly straight because I'm getting hit with a crosswind. Now, we connected the FMC and we've been having some problems with it, which Marty is aware of. Since it runs on the SIOC script, <coughs> excuse me, uh, as you can see, it shows the screen all right, but when pressing any of these keys, absolutely nothing at all happens. Now, I'm going to bring the SIOC program up for a second so you can take a look at it. And it does show that we got one connected client, which in this case is Marty's um, CDU program and that it is indeed running Flight Simulator FSX. Uh, the device on this has been labeled 95 and it shows that the SIOC script was loaded and running. So that said it still doesn't work. So we're trying to work out the bug on that. Uh, I'm going to pan up here for a second and shouldn't be doing this but I wanted to show you also that in all this maneuvering we got the slats indicator lights working so they're all hooked up along with all of the other lights so thank God all my wiring is completed I, I don't have any more lights to wire up so in that case everything is done there just a quick look at the pedestal here so we are working on this again we don't have a lot of time so people who want to who've been emailing and saying hey can you make a video about this that and whatever no unfortunately uh, time is pretty precious and I sure would like to get this 
straighten out. Other people are using this particular FMC, which is from open cockpits. By the way, it is backlightable. I just haven't done it yet. That's why none of the keys are lit up currently, because that's going to be a task in itself. But um, if anybody has any suggestions as to why uh, this particular program is not working properly. Oddly enough, if I start the Project Magenta free software for their FMC and I load the Project Magenta SIOC program, it works fine. But you can't transfer the picture of the FMC from Project Magenta over here. You just can't widen it out enough to where it's going to fit in in this screen. If if I could, I'd just say I'd oh, heck with it and um, run the um, Project Magenta software. But um, anyway, uh, this is where we're at right now, and obviously headed for lost wages. I'm going to show this one more time. I'm going to hit the position, which will show my position. As you can see, the green line, which is next to the white line, and I don't know whether you can see it with the camera or not, showed up. I'll kill the airports here, uh, so maybe it'll show up a little bit. But uh, basically, homing in on the VOR from Las Vegas showing 157 miles from Las Vegas right now. So again if anybody has a open cockpits FMC and they happen to be running the uh, ProSim 737 software program uh, you can get a hold of me and let me know. Uh, maybe you can help me out and give me a clue as to what I'm doing wrong. The actual software itself is great. If you um, if you want to go to his website, Marty's website, he's a heck of a nice guy. Uh, he's a developer who's donating a lot of his time free, by the way, to developing this program and it just runs circles around just about everything else I've seen. Um, his website is prosim737.com prosim737.com and his name is Marty and if you decide you want to download it, like I say, it's free. And uh, he's just constantly improving this almost on a day-to-day -day basis some times he'll find something a little uh, while not working properly according to him then he fixes it and um, feel free to donate I mean the man's using his time a dollar two dollars anything that you could do would help him uh, create a better product for all of us guys who use it and it's a heck of a lot better getting a program like this that's free than paying three thousand dollars for the other commercial programs that are out there right now and it's set up for instructor station just about everything you want to do so that's where we're at right now uh, lights done this installed um, and we're, we're poking along, coming along. Thanks for watching, and again, if anybody has any, uh, I don't know whether you can see it, but this is the Las Vegas Basin right here. But anybody has any ideas about uh, fixing the, uh, the FMC where it, it'll actually run, feel free to give me a shout. Thanks for watching.